Namaste and welcome to Refill Yoga. Today we're going to be doing a quick and powerful practice uh, designed to really lift the energy and boost the immune system. This is a modified version of what Yogi Bhajan calls the basic human capacity workout. Uh, I do a modified version for you guys for right now because I tried the full version for the first time last week and I couldn't walk for like three days. So we start gently. I'm going to give you this, this one for now and if you want you can practice this to work up to the full version which maybe I'll release next week. We'll see. Throughout this practice we'll be do, doing two different breathing techniques. The first one is the sniff and throw which is just an in and out through the nose. usually connected with a movement. The second one is called the breath of fire, which is another fast breathing technique, uh, sort of like a dog, but through the nose. Either of these breathing techniques, as well as the movements they're connected with, can be done more slowly or more fast. I really leave it up to you. The idea behind this type of yoga is that you are your own guru and uh, within you know what is right for you. So let's begin. Coming into a comfortable seated position, we'll take a moment to check in with ourselves. So sitting nice and tall, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, roll the shoulders back and down so the chest is open in a relaxed manner. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. And again, deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth and feel your body relax, your mind soften. One more deep inhalation through the nose. Hold the breath. And let go. Feeling soft and relaxed, present. We'll take a moment now to tune in with the mantra Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the collective consciousness for inspiration. I bow to the Guru within to guide me. Bring your hands together in front of the heart. Take a deep inhalation to chant. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Two more times. Inhale. Om Namo. Last one, inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Sitting with the eyes closed, feeling the resulting vibrations from tuning in with the mantra. Take a deep inhalation into the heart and gently coming back. You can lower the hands to the knees, open your eyes. And we'll begin warming up the spine with some Sufi grind. So starting sitting nice and tall, hands down on the knees, leaning forward. We're going to rotate towards the left, around back, right and forward. Drawing as big a circles as you can, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Trying to draw as big a circles as possible and feel the awakening of the entire spinal column. Inhaling forward, expanding the chest, exhaling back, rounding the spine. Keep your chin parallel with the floor. 
So the head stays up and you get this rotation all the way up into the neck. Beautiful. Next time you come to the front, switching directions, rotating in the opposite direction, still inhaling forward, exhaling back. And the next time you come to the front, take a deep inhalation. Sit nice and tall, hold the breath. And release and relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Feeling fine vibrations from the base of the spine all the way up to the top of the head. Stimulation of the central nervous system, the spine, the energy channels. And gently coming back. We'll make our way now into a kneeling position, sitting on the heels. Place the hands on the thighs. And we're going to do a cat-cow type movement to open the chest. We inhale forward and we exhale back. Starting nice and slow, inhaling forward, exhaling back. And as you feel comfortable, you can pick up to a more powerful sniff and throw breath. Again, keep your chin parallel with the floor so you get this benefit from the base of the spine up to the neck. And picture your spine moving in like a wave as we do this motion. And realize that all energy flows in waves, just like the light, just like the sound. So we pump the breath, we move the spine in this wave-like motion in order to awaken the energy along the central column. And deep inhalation, hold the breath and squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals and anus, containing this energy within. And release Mula Bandha, release the breath, sitting with the eyes closed, your attention turned inside, feeling the increased movement of energy throughout the body. We open the nervous channels, we start to purify the nervous system. And gently coming back, let's make our way down into a cross-legged position again. We're going to do some twisting now. Another great way to relieve the spine, very detoxifying. Uh, Yogi Bhajan actually calls this the washing machine because we're really uh, squeezing the, the inner organs and helping to remove any kind of toxins or impurities. We're going to start with the arms extended out inside. And we're going to bend the elbows at 90 degrees. We're going to touch the 
thumb and index finger together in Jnana Mudra and we want to keep this 90 degree shape and the chest nice and open. We're going to inhale to the left, which for you is that way, and we're going to exhale to the right. I come forward a little bit and we'll do this for one minute, inhaling left, exhaling right. Again, you can start slow and as you feel comfortable, pick up to this more powerful breath and movement. Make sure you allow the, the head to move with the twist, so you get the benefit of the twist from the base of the spine all the way up to the throat. Deep inhalation to center, keep the arms up. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha. And release Mula Bandha, release the breath, lower the arms, sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Feeling the movement of energy up and towards the area of the chest, throat and upper back. Feeling a certain lightness in the body as we start to sublimate the lower energies to the higher centers. And gently coming back. The next exercise is to awaken now this uh, throat and, and neck area. We're going to inhale the shoulders up. We're going to exhale one shoulder forward and the other shoulder back. Then we're going to inhale the shoulders up and we're going to exhale switching. So inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down opposite. It's a bit of coordination and can be a bit of a challenge for the mind, but it's super releasing for the spine. Deep inhalation, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha. And release, sitting with the eyes closed, your attention turned inside. Feeling the opening of the energy channels, the upper shoulders and throat area. Activating the thyroid and parathyroid. Stimulating the immune system. And gently coming back. We're going to do some neck rolls now. So dropping the chin to the chest and rotating towards the right, right ear towards the right shoulder, around back. Left ear, left shoulder, forwards and down. And continue rotating in this one direction, nice and slow. You can inhale back and exhale forward. Working out any tension, any kinks. And becoming aware of the subtle flow of energy in the area of the neck.
and switching directions, rotating the opposite direction towards the left, back, right and forward. Still inhaling back and exhaling forward. Becoming aware of the subtle movement of energy in the area of the neck. And returning to center with a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And sitting with the eyes closed. Observing the sensations inside. Feeling open. Balanced. and ready for the rest of the practice. Gently coming back. Beautiful. We're gonna make our way down to lying on our belly. Um, the next two parts of the practice, this is where it's starting to get intense, uh, is gonna be involving the breath of fire in back bends. Um, Back bends already are very energizing, very purifying, really opening the chest, opening the heart, the lungs. Uh, so great for purifying this as well as uh, stimulating Manipura Chakra. Um, we'll be doing the breath of fire, so cultivating lots of fire, lots of energy and really purifying the system. Um, but we're going to do just a little bit more to wake up the spine. We'll just do a couple practice back bends. We're going to do Cobra first and we'll do some um, Chalabhasana, the Locust Pose. And then we'll come into the, the full practice. So, but anyway, let's come down to lying on our belly. <coughs> lying on the belly. With the, it's my first time practicing here, so I need to spatially orient myself. Lying on the belly with the hands underneath the shoulders. First, we're going to do a couple cobra poses. So, pressing into the hands, inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Last one. This time we're going to hold. Inhale up and try to really relax into the pose. Maybe you need to move your hands a little further away. A few deep breaths here. Really trying to relax the spine with each exhalation. And deep inhalation. Exhale to release, lowering down. I'm going to do a couple Shalabhasana now for the lower back. So you can place your hands under the pubic bone or you can make fists under the thighs just to make it a little support, a little more easy. And from here, we're going to inhale the shoulder, the, the legs up, and we're going to exhale them down. Keep your chin on the mat. I'm lifting my chin just so it doesn't interfere with the microphone. And inhale up, exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And this time we'll hold. Inhale up. And holding, breathing. And deep inhalation. And release. Release the hands. You can make a pillow for your forehead. This will be our resting pose. 
and come up to your elbows just for the demonstration. So the pose we're going to do now is the Danyarasana, the bow pose. We're going to do it hold with the breath of fire for 90 seconds, one and a half minutes. So I'll demonstrate the pose first and then we'll do it together. So from laying on the belly, we will bend the ankles, bend the knees, sorry, and we will grab the ankles. Then we press the feet into the hands and we inhale up, reaching the shoulders back, arms back, pressing into the hands, lifting the knees up. We will hold this pose and do the breath of fire for one and a half minutes. Okay, make any final adjustments you might need. Coming into the position, cla cla clasping the ankles, inhale up, relaxing exhalation, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, Shambhavi Mudra, and begin the breath of fire. We're halfway through, keep going, you can do it. Almost there, come on, 20 seconds. Deep inhalation, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha. And release. Relax, resting your forehead on the back of the hands. Close the eyes, turn the attention inside. And feel a strong arousal, opening and purification of all your energy channels. And gently coming back. Beautiful everyone. We'll make our way up to a kneeling position now. So coming to a kneeling, sitting on the heels. The next practice, we're going to be doing the breath of fire in uh, Ustrasana, the camel pose. Um, so the camel pose is a back bend as well. I give you a couple options. The full pose is the, the feet are flat on the floor. We place the hands on the heels. And we drop the head back. Uh, you don't have to drop the head back if it's not comfortable for your throat. So that's one option. Second option is you can tuck the toes, makes it a little bit higher. And you can do Ustrasana like this. Uh, if that is too challenging for your back, you can just place your hands on the lower back and lean back as much as you feel comfortable. Again, tucking the chin or dropping the head back is up to you. When we finish, we're going to inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, and we exhale, and we'll come up and we'll just stay vertical for a moment. We'll have a short awareness here to really appreciate the effects, and then we'll make our way down into child's pose to release the back. Okay, so coming up to kneeling, 
Taking whichever version is right for you. Deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And begin the breath of fire. Make sure you're really sending the hips forward in whichever variation you're choosing. Deep inhalation. <laughs> Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha. <laughs> and release. Coming up to a vertical kneeling position. Feeling the energy coursing through your body. Relaxing down into child's pose, carefully releasing the back bend. Again, taking note of the opening and purification of all the energy channels, feeling light, aware. Cultivating strength, power, and detachment. And gently coming back, making your way back up to a kneeling position or any comfortable seated position for the demonstration of the next practice. Oh, I'm sweating. For the next practice, we'll be doing the frog pose. Um, very powerful movement, very strong to move the energy, um, creating a lot of vitalities, working very strongly with the legs. Uh, we'll be in a squatting position. And throughout this practice, we want to keep on the toes oops, with the heels up. Okay, so we want to keep this position of the feet the whole time. We're going to have the fingers on the floor in front of us. From here, we're going to inhale through the nose. And we're going to exhale through the nose up. So the sniff and through. Oops, keep the heels up. See, I forgot. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Okay, and we're going to do this 54 times. You can count out loud, you can count in your head. Um, I'll try to count out loud for you and we try to do them very quick. So I'll count it, you breathing, in and out through the nose. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, come on, 37, yes you can, 38, almost there, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, keep breathing, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and make your way into a seated position and drop inside. And feel the power coursing through your body. The strong opening and purification, activation of the heart and lungs, Beautiful, and make your way down gently to Shavasana. We'll take a short two minute Shavasana before the final practice. Just allowing this energy to settle. Appreciating the openness through the body. And gently coming back, wiggling the toes and fingers, rolling the wrists and ankles, drop the head from side to side to release the neck. And gently making your way back up to any comfortable seated position. <clears throat> Just to finish the purification of everything. We're going to finish with one round of the Ego Eradicator. We're going to do the Breath of Fire, holding the arms up for two minutes. So we fold the fingertips in, we point the thumbs. We're going to hold the chest nice and open, feeling this openness across the chest. We turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead. We're going to do the Breath of Fire for two minutes. Afterwards, we're going to inhale 
thumbs up to touching and we're going to squeeze the genitals, squeeze the anus, squeeze the belly, squeeze everything and imagine pushing the energy all the way up through the top of the head, sending it up, sending it up. Then we're going to spread the fingers and as we exhale through the mouth, we're going to imagine sweeping the space around us, clearing our energetic field, our, our aura, pushing down any darkness, any dirt, anything that doesn't serve us, push it down. Then we'll sit and meditate on this glowing light all of around us. So let's prepare. Sitting nice and tall, folding in the fingertips, pointing the thumbs. Inhale the arms up to 60 degrees, chest nice and open. Turn the eyes up, relaxing exhalation, and begin the breath of fire. And deep inhalation, thumbs up to touching, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, squeeze the anus, squeeze the belly, send the energy all the way up through the top of the head. And spread the fingers wide as you exhale. Sweeping the space around you, pushing down any dirt, any darkness, and spreading the light from above you. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention focused inside. Feeling open, purified. Powerful, awakened, and expansive. Gently bring your hands in front of your heart. We'll close this class by chanting the mantra Sat Nam. We'll chant one long Sat and a short, quick Nam. Sat Nam means I am the truth. Inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Sat Nam, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Beautiful work today, guys. Now it's important to take a Shavasana.
Uh, if you like, you can follow this guided Shavasana that I have on YouTube. Or you can just lie down and rest for at least 6 to 12 minutes. Allow this energy to settle, to balance. And uh, have a wonderful day. Namaste. Wow, beautiful job today, guys. And it was a strong practice. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, this was the modified version. If you'd like to stay tuned for the, the full version, which I'll release later, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this practice, click like. If you feel amazing or you feel the energy, let me know in the comments how you feel. Uh, I like to hear any feedbacks. I, we love to hear about your experiences and uh, we like that we want to follow you as well and how your practice is going. Uh, if you like our content and you'd like to support us more, uh, you can check out our Patreon account where we'll be uh, posting exclusive videos or some more advanced practices or maybe you just want to help us out in these uh, difficult times. Anyway, thank you again for joining. I uh, always love to have you here on the channel. Have a great day. Namaste. This is a modified version of what Yogi Bhajan calls the no, what is it called now, Bowie?